Demoic acid, a potent neurotoxin, you don't want this food safety hazard. No one likes food poisoning, all that vomiting and diarrhea, but food poisoning doesn't just cause gastrointestinal symptoms. Here's the story of a foodborne toxin that causes food poisoning with very odd and distressing symptoms. When you get food poisoning, you usually experience gastrointestinal symptoms like nausea, vomiting and diarrhea. But in 1987, more than 100 people in Canada got food poisoning with very unusual symptoms. These people were experiencing amnesic shellfish poisoning, ASP, caused by ingesting domoic acid. In the early stages of the 1987 amnesic shellfish poisoning outbreak, victims typically experienced symptoms such as nausea, vomiting and diarrhea. However, as the illness progressed, they began to experience more severe symptoms, such as confusion, disorientation and seizures. Some of them became mute, and others began purposelessly chewing or grimacing. A few had hiccups, uncontrolled crying or unexplained aggressiveness. A key characteristic of ASP is memory loss, which can range from mild to severe. Around one quarter of victims in the 1987 outbreak reported having difficulty remembering recent events or had trouble forming new memories. In severe cases, ASP can lead to permanent brain damage or even death. There were three or four fatalities in the 1987 outbreak. One survivor developed ongoing epilepsy as a result of the intoxication. Five years after the event, some of the victims were still experiencing significant memory loss. Amnesic shellfish poisoning is caused by the biotoxin, domoic acid, which occurs naturally in diatom phytoplanktons and certain red seaweeds, including chondria amata. Diatoms are a type of phytoplankton, which are microorganisms that contain chlorophyll and require sunlight to live and grow. Diatoms float in the upper part of the ocean and can also be found attached to rocks or the seabed or floating debris or aquatic plants. Demoic acid was first recognised as a foodborne toxin in 1987 after the deadly outbreak in Canada. The source of the outbreak was traced to aquacultured blue mussels, Mytilus edulis, which had been contaminated with toxin-containing diatoms at high levels. Demoic acid isn't something that just affects humans. It has also killed seabirds on the west coast of the USA. The seabirds had eaten anchovy fish that had eaten diatoms containing domoic acid. In Mexico, seabirds also died after eating contaminated mackerel. More than 400 sea lions, um, that's a type of seal, died in 1998 in California after eating northern anchovies that feed on plankton. The toxin had also, has also been found in crabs, soft-shelled clams, razor clams and scallops. In anchovies, it's been found in the mussel as well as the viscera of the fish. Um, and the main source for all of this is an FAO um, paper on marine biotoxins. Interesting fact. Japanese islanders once prized seaweed extracts containing domoic acid as a medicinal tonic, including for the treatment of roundworm disease and as an insecticide. Should you be worried about domoic acid? As a consumer, you probably don't need to be worried about domoic acid as a consumer unless you are a recreational fisher. Domoic acid poisoning of humans is extremely rare, even though the toxin has been detected in water all around the world, including in Japan, Italy, Vietnam, Ireland and New Zealand, and in animals in America and in seaweed in the Mediterranean. Fisheries authorities monitor shellfish growing areas and shellfish for the relevant phytoplanktons and domoic acid, and they shut down production and harvest areas if they're detected at dangerous levels. Fisheries have been closed in Scotland in 1999, Washington State in the USA in 1998 and Spain in 2022 to protect consumers from domoic acid poisoning. Sorry, correction, that was Spain in 2002. Advice for a recreational shellfish harvester says to avoid eating shellfish from areas where red tides of algae are known to occur and to cook shellfish, discard the cooking water to reduce the amount of poison, sorry, discarding the cooking water to reduce the amount of poison that might be ingested. As a food professional, 
If your business produces, buys or sells seafood or seaweed, domoic acid should be on your radar and included in your food safety plan. Domoic acid is a hazard that occurs in a variety of marine foods, including microalgae and macroalgae, which is seaweed, shellfish and in finfish. For example, it has been found in a variety of shellfish and in whole sardines in Portugal, sometimes exceeding the regulatory limit, although mostly in the guts of the fish, not the mussel. It can be found throughout the world. High performance liquid chromatography or mouse bioassay methods can be used to identify the toxin. Shellfish with more than 20 parts per million of domoic acid are unfit for human consumption. Codex has standards for, for marine biotoxins in bivalve mollusks, but guidance levels for domoic acid in seaweed have not yet been established. Monitoring is the key to domoic acid prevention because the toxin, because the toxic blooms that cause domoic acid contamination are unpredictable. The toxin seems to only form in dangerous amounts when the diatoms that produce the toxin are causing a bloom. That is, they are present at unusually high levels in the marine environment. Blooms seem to require certain environmental stresses such as excess nitrogen from pollution in order to form. If your business purchases shellfish or seaweed, be sure to purchase from reputable suppliers and regulated fisheries. Illegally harvested shellfish are at higher risk of domoic acid toxins than shellfish from regulated monitored fisheries. Cooking may not be adequate to control domoic acid toxins as it is heat stable. And yes, I have fact checked that one. Demoic acid is a food safety hazard that is expected to become more prevalent due to the acidification of oceans, which favors the growth of diatoms which produce the toxin compared to more benign phytoplanktons. And a suggested resource for food professionals is included in the email. It is the Marine Biotoxins White Paper by the Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations. As always, the sources for everything I've said here can be found in the email.